Hi, this is Trent Wolby with The Verge, and uh, we are here in Austin, Texas with Jim Mazur from Native Instruments. Hi, Jim. Hi, hey, Trent. Um, and what have you got to show us today? Yeah, what I have to show you is basically a Tractor DJ, um, which was only on the iPad to begin with. Uh, we now have Tractor DJ for the iPhone. Excellent, so. excellent. How have things changed uh, scaling down to the smaller screen? Well, basically, in terms of um, the capabilities of the software, everything is pretty much one-to-one. -one. So the iPhone version isn't in any way less powerful than the iPad. It's really just about how we brought this interface down to the smaller screen. We actually thought to really keep the, the same size and real estate that you have for interacting with the Wave display and move it down to the iPhone. Yeah, so essentially uh, you have two decks as you do in the iPad version. Uh, let me just get a song loaded here. Uh, you can bring the browser in by uh, t tapping the album art. So here I'll just go to my songs. You get the same kind of pane based structure that we have um, in the iPad version. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> here you can see the wave display and you have kind of this one deck focus which lets you have all the same kind of cool interactions that you have on the iPad, the scratching, the kind of freeze mode stuff, um, the looping, and when you want to uh, go to the other deck, you have also on the left hand side this kind of navigation uh, slider. So as I pull this down, basically oh. I slide between my decks. So that if I keep it cool. in the center, I have basically both decks. If I pull all the way down, now I'm on deck B. So in this case, I'll load a song. It's taking me immediately to uh, the recommendations. So it's just giving me a bunch of tracks that will play uh, well with, with the song that I have loaded. In the same BPM range and key range. Yes, yeah, exactly. So now I've selected this song. Uh, I can see this little A indicator flashing saying that I have something on my A deck. So I load into B. Uh, okay. It's there. Um, we can set like a, a loop. Maybe let's just pan back, see both. Okay. Crossfade. And is this the same BPM detection software that's in the larger version? And exactly the same. Okay. Same exact quality uh, key detection as well. So uh, what you can do is let's just slide up to deck A. And when I tap these, I bring in my um, effects and filter controls, or EQs and filters. So in this case, I can... To X, Y. Yeah. If folks are finding that um, the BPM is not uh, syncing where they want it to sync. Um, can people actually change cue points here or do they need an external software? Is that possible? No, it's, it's super easy to do okay. in the app. Basically, um, here I'm on the intro, so it's, it sounds all good. I mean, sometimes you have tracks with more like quiet, subtle intros where you can't really tell if the one is there. In this case, I'll just slide open my um, Beakrid editor panel and then I can just grab the local view and slide about and basically I, I see that the transients are all sticking in the same place uh -huh. so I have a yeah really high confidence and when I bring this track in it's gonna be on beat so let's drop it up there gotcha is this gonna be available for um, the smaller screened iOS devices or is it strictly an iPhone 5 and, and larger it's, it's iPhone 4 and iPhone 5 so okay. it will cover the older screens as well I guess my one question is, why didn't you do this sooner? <laughs> um, we didn't want to be the first. We wanted to be the first to do it really right, or right. as close as we think. Native Instruments certain, uh, stands for a certain quality, and right. our customers really are professional DJs, and they'll hold us to basically those standards. How have you learned from the experience you guys have already had with Track DJ for iPad to sort of work on this and bring the features into this one screen? I mean, the iPad version hasn't been out so long, right. but so I can't really say that we, we learned so much in terms of like what people were saying, other than just the response of people really getting what we tried to um, bring out with the iPad version in terms of directly working with the Wave display and um, using that as the kind of portal into your, into your track. Do you have any sort of plans to for interaction between different devices, or is that sort of on we, your outlook? We, we've thought about it. I mean, I think the whole um, audio syncing, like latencies, uh, we, we obviously want to keep everything like as close to um, real time as possible. That's that's one challenge. Uh, we don't we won't have anything in the first version, but I think mm -hmm. this whole notion um, 
of just having your devices in your pocket and especially amongst DJs, it's, it, I can definitely see that coming in the future. So Tractor DJ for iPhone is in the App Store today. Mm -hmm. And what are we looking at as far as price? Yeah, it's going to be uh, four ninety nine. It's it's going to be a separate app just for the iPhone. Okay, so, so if you already have Tractor DJ for iPad, this is a separate buy, mm -hmm. and it's probably well worth the price. Yeah, and it's a great. I mean, also if you just want to try it out, uh, it's it's much uh, cheaper than the iPad version. Jim, thanks very much for sharing. This is awesome. It's a, it's one of those days that I've been waiting for for actually quite a long time. Awesome. Always a pleasure.